Hello, um, we're back at, at ch ch chapter three. Or no, we're on chapter two right now, but we're gonna read chapter three. So apparently this one, all the members f finally, I don't know. I don't know, they apparently have me, apparently. You're not so bad. Why is first love here? Okay. <laughs> You're not so bad. Fufu would cry. Fufu would cry from two till four in the morning every day. The boys would take turns trying to calm down the crying boy. Youngi didn't care for Fufu, and he didn't want anything to do with them. One night, it was Youngi's turn to calm Fufu down. Once he heard Fufu's whimpering, he knew it was time. He stumbled out of his bed and shuffled his way to Fufu's nursery. <laughs> Uh-huh. Listen, boy. Can you please shut the fuck up already? You're starting to really piss me off. Oh my god. Yungi tried rocking Fufu in his crib, but that just made it worse. He then tried playing with him with stuffed animals. Oh. Hi. Um. <laughs> Yungi tried rocking Fufu in his crib, but that just made it worse. He then tried playing with them with the stuffed animals, but Fufu just cried louder. Jimin walked into the room and saw shirtless Yungi. He blushed and saw how much Yungi was struggling. Here, let me help. Jimin said as he packed as he picked up the crying Fufu. Jimin handed Fufu to Yungi and told him, Rock him softly while you rub and pat his back. Sing him a soft, soothing song while you do it, okay? I promise it'll help him relax. Yungi did as Jimin told him, and soon Fufu stopped crying and fell asleep. Thanks, Jimin, <laughs> Yungi said. You're welcome. Jimin replied with a smile and red cheeks. Yungi softly put Fufu down in his crib. Jimin kissed the top of Fufu's forehead, and he told Yungi to do the same. Yungi bent down and left a soft kiss on his son's forehead. Fufu grabbed onto Yungi's pointer finger and gave it a tiny squeeze. A tear fell from Yungi's eyes. He's so cute, Jimin. <laughs> Jimin nodded and wrapped his arms around Yungi's wast. <laughs> Yungi picked up Jimin and kissed him on the lips. I love you, Park Jimin. Jimin blushed and kissed him back, only this time it was a rough kiss. I love you, Mormon Yungi. They both turned on Fufu's nightlight and played some lullabies that the band had recorded just for their son. Good night, Yungi, Jimin said as he went to his room. Night, Jimin, Yungi replied as he went to his room and locked the door. Yungi looked down and Oh, that he had a boner, so he had to start jerking off. Jimin did the same as soon as he got to his room. What the hell? Yungi took a shower and fell asleep, but Jimin had to use a vibrator. After he was done playing with himself, he took a shower and fell asleep thinking about Yungi. Next chapter. Wow. It seems like every one of these chapters gets, like, shorter or maybe that's just from me like reading too fast i don't know but yeah that's um chapter three and we're gonna go to chapter four so hope you enjoyed this one i mean this has kind of been fun i guess for me being a baby apparently combined with every member's freaking sperm i don't fucking know um Hopefully you've enjoyed this, so I'm going to go now. Bye-bye. I'm really tired. We'll see what happens in the next chapter, okay? Um, goodbye. <laughs>